All right, so here's a video on the Blackmagic Design Video Assist Monitor. And this video is really to address a couple of questions that are floating around out there. And also some people say that this monitor or recorder has a bug that only records 1080 at 60p, which um, is incorrect. So I don't believe there's a problem with this video assist monitor, but there is some weird issues or I won't say issues, but there is something weird about the Sony a7R2 and the Sony a7S2 that will cause it to go into 1080 60 on output. And I'll show you that in a second. So I believe that the problem is with the Sony a7R2 or say a7S2 um, that causes that 60p output. And then we'll, we'll show you that in the GH4, we don't have that same problem. So anyways, uh, first thing, can the Blackmagic Video Assist downscale 4P output? Um, no, no it can't. Uh, if we have uh, one of these Sony set up here, so let me unplug this. Um, I'm going to, I'll actually plug it into this A7S II here. Okay, let's uh, turn this on. And turn this on here. Okay, so if we want to, if we go into our menu here and we select 4K recording, and then we go into our HDMI and we set our HDMI resolution output to 2160. Um, there you go, we have source none, so it does not see the input when we set it to 4K, so it's not seeing the 4K output from this camera. We go back into our menu, and we select our HDMI resolution to 1080p. You notice that we do get a signal, but you also notice that it says 5994, even though our setting here is... Let's go back. Our setting here is 4K 24P. So even though we're recording 24P and we have our HDMI output as 24P, it still, it still says 1080 60. So when you're in 4K but outputting 1080, it's actually outputting 60. So it's kind of weird. So now watch this. If I go in here and I change this to 1080 24P and our HDMI is 1080 out, now it displays 1080 at 24. So the problem is with the Sony. Now I could do the exact same test with the Atomos Shogun here and we'll get the exact same results. That it will display 1080 60 if you have your recording set to 4K and outputting 1080. But if you set recording to 1080 and output to 1080, you can choose 24P. Now I'm gonna unplug this what we'll do is we'll connect this to the GH4 here. All right, so we have this connected now. You notice it says 1080-24 is the signal that we're getting from the GH4. And in the GH4, if I go into my menu, you can see that my recording format is 4K. So on the GH4, even though you have your recording set to 4K, you could still output 1080-24. But in the Sony camera, in the A7S II and the A7R II, that's not the case. If you're going to record 1080 on this Blackmagic Video Assist, your record setting also has to be 1080 and your HDMI output 1080. So that's weird. Uh, there's no problem with the Video Assist. There's a problem with the Sony A7S II and A7R II um, when you get that 60p problem. All right. Um, Anyways, uh, that, that's about it. I could duplicate the exact same problem here on the A7R2, but I'm not going to do that because, uh, you know, it's, that's, it's going to be a waste of time. It's going to be exactly the same. And I had the Atomos here to show you that the same thing happens. The Atomos will actually see 60p at 1080, even though these things are set to 24 output. Um, so it's a problem with the Sony. It's not really with the uh, Blackmagic Video Assist. And it does not see uh, 4K input. So hopefully that answers a few questions and... Um, there is no bug. Don't worry about it. This thing actually records great. 
Um, you just got to make sure you have your camera set up right. If you have any questions about this, uh, let me know at the blog, cheesecam.com.